Hey guys, welcome back to MuscleMentor.net. I'm Brad Hall and this is Justin Harris. And we wanna talk a little bit today about something we've been seeing more and more often, which is like protein cookies and protein bars and meal replacement bars and things like that. Yeah, so. what's that, that <clears throat> famous cookie that Larry and Willie's protein cookie? I see all the time. Okay. I, think, I think Rich Piano used to always oh, okay. eat it. The, the thing is, I know people like, the same thing with Quest bars. They they get into the sport and they get obsessed with like eating a certain way and they they want to still feel like they're eating like a bodybuilder even when they clearly aren't and so they'll eat something that tastes like shit just be, eat, and doesn't have any better macros than the, something that tastes good just so they can feel like uh like they're still being a bodybuilder i guess i'm not a fan of really any of those protein bars not at all always have a protein drink if you can the protein in a protein bar just isn't high quality protein and the only way they can make it even edible at all is to have more sugar and fat than you need. They were the, what were they? Oh yeah, was that really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is like 10 or 15 years ago now, I don't remember, but they were they were, they were really popular for a while and they were literally Snickers bars with protein. So some people just made Snickers, but somewhere in the chocolate or nougat batch or whatever, they just added enough whey protein to, to get protein to it. So there would be, there's no, bad, no difference in nutrition from eating a Snickers bar and having a protein shake. And since a Snickers bar tastes better than a Snickers bar with protein added to it, you might as well just have a Snickers bar and a protein shake. But people would pay $4 a piece for these bars to eat something that was, is, that was the same nutritional value as a Snickers bar and a protein drink, but didn't taste as good as that. Yeah. And that's a, the, I mean, protein cookies aren't mm-hmm. terrible, and, but they're not a meal replacement. They're not, you're not doing, you're not doing anything serving bodybuilding uh, by, by having them. If you want to have them, have them, but don't, don't think you're really doing anything to benefit your bodybuilding career that you couldn't be doing with a million different things that taste better I guess. Uh, and one thing I want to say, because I hear all the time people say that, you know, the protein is denatured in there. And I, I don't know if pe- people know what denatured means. Denatured just basically means unfolded. I mean, the amino acids get all folded up into a protein structure and then they get denatured, they get opened up and unfolded. But that's what digestion does. I mean, that's what pepsin and, and uh, pepsin and the acid in your stomach does. You can't digest a, pro- a full yeah, protein. protein. You can only yeah. digest dye and tripeptide bonded amino acids. And so your body has to do the same thing. So that doesn't affect anything. Yeah. Um, and, and there's no such thing as a protein that doesn't get absorbed. It would be great if we could eat calories and not absorb them, but we do. So even denatured protein does get absorbed and even sugar alcohols do get absorbed. And just because they don't, this will crash me up too, because people want sugar alcohols because they don't raise insulin, but then they'll take insulin. <laughs> so it's like, you, do you want insulin or not? You know, it's the most antibiotic hormone. People are talking about, I need to take Lantus. I need to do long acting insulin. So insulin spiked all day so I can be an antibiotic. But then anytime I eat something, I got to make sure there's no insulin released from it. The, the sugar alcohol, a calorie, a gram, a gram of sugar alcohol is the same calorie content as a, uh, well, I guess maybe not, but a seven calories of sugar alcohol has the same calories as seven calories of sugar or protein. Right? And so whether or not it raises insulin, it is still calories your body has to burn or store as fat if you, if you don't burn them. And the, the effect that insulin has really no, no effect on body composition. And even worse, all I see on the internet is people talking about how insulin is the most effective anabolic substance on earth. So it cracks me up because then the same people will post about crazy insulin cycles and sure that everyone's huge because of insulin. And then the next post will be worried about you know, eating, trying to find foods with sugar alcohol. about spiking insulin yeah. by naturally. <laughs> it's like, yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. The, yeah. And, and some people are going to have a reaction to that sugar alcohol, too. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's a, you know, yeah, it's they'll, a they'll start eating, you know, the, the, what is it, Quest bars, and yeah. they'll be like, oh, this is great. And so then they start having two a day. And next thing you know, they're just having the worst diarrhea of their lives. And they're, they're convinced it was, you know, some sushi or something they ate. Or every day they yeah. must be having something at lunch that's really messing them up. And I'm like, well, what about those two Quest bars yeah. you're eating? You know, that's a lot of sugar alcohols for, for some people's body to handle. Um, especially if they're doing diet sodas and you know, all these other things too. After a while, your body's going to, you know, it's going to react. Yeah, go look at a laxative and see what the ingredients mm-hmm. are. <laughs> Sugar alcohols. Right. But, yeah, and so to, to kind of go back, I mean, it's, we, we've talked about the 90% rule and stuff. And so sometimes you're not going to eat perfect. But don't, don't, try, don't lie to yourself and, and convince yourself that, that when you're having a Quest Bar or something, you, you aren't off that still counts as the 10 percent bad so you're, you're off plan with that uh don't 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 say that well since quest bar is not perfect i might as well just eat a, an entire stick of butter because there's there's you know there's ranges of bad but but eating eating a, a protein bar a protein cookie isn't as good as a real whole food meal